Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this system of equations a cubed plus b cubed equals to 10, a square plus b square equals to 7. And now we are going to find the value of uh, this a plus b and make sure that a and b are our real numbers. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and call this very first equation as equation number one and this second equation as equation number two. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this equation two. And here I have copied it down. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Let me go ahead and move this 2ab on the left hand side. So therefore a square plus b square turns out to be equal to a plus b whole square minus 2ab. And now I am going to replace this a square plus b square by this whole polynomial. So therefore we can write this one as a plus b whole square minus 2 times a b equals to 7. Let me call this as an equation number 3. And here's our next step. Let's focus on equation 1 now. And here I have copied it down. And now let's recall this cubic identity a plus b whole cube. Let me go ahead and move this uh, 3ab times a plus b on the left hand side. So a cube plus b cube turns out to be equal to a plus b whole cube minus 3ab times a plus b. Therefore I am going to replace this a cubed plus b cubed by this uh, whole thing. So therefore I can write this one as a plus b whole cube minus 3 a b times a plus b equals to 10. Let's call this as an equation number 4. And here's our next step. Let's make things simple by making some substitutions. Let me go ahead and call this a plus b as an x. So let's suppose that uh, x equal to a plus b. And likewise, let's focus on a times b and this a times b, I'm going to call them as y. So I'm going to call y equals to a times b. So after substitution our equation 3 is going to become x square minus 2y equal to 7 and likewise our equation 4 is going to become x cube minus 3 times xy equals to 10. And now let's go ahead and solve this equation for y. Let me go ahead and move this y, negative 2y on the right hand side and 7 on the left hand side. So this is going to become x square minus 7 equals to 2y. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2. And now let me go ahead and substitute this y equal to this uh, x square minus 7 divided by 2 value by this y and here I replace this y by x square minus 7 divided by 2 and here in this next step I brought this 2 right outside at the denominator. Now let's go ahead and distribute this one. Now let's go ahead and combine the like terms so when we combine these cubes so that is going to give us a negative x cube divided by 2 plus 21x divided by 2 equals to 10. Now we are going to remove this fraction by multiplying by 2 across the board. And here this 2 and 2 is gone so we got a negative x power 3. Here 2 and 2 is gone as well. So plus 21x equals to 
20 on the right hand side. Now let's go ahead and move everything on the right hand side. So this is going to give us x power 3 minus 21x plus 20 equal to 0. And now we can see that this is our cubic equation and now we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring in the next step. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this cubic equation. Let me go ahead and tweak this part. Negative 21x, I can write this one as negative x minus 20x. And now we can see that uh, x is in common between these first two terms and negative 20 is in common from these last two terms. So therefore I can write this thing x time x square minus 1 minus 20 times x minus 1 equal to 0. And now let's recall this famous identity a square minus b square. Let's go ahead and apply this one on this uh, x square minus 1. So this could be written as uh, x minus 1 times uh, x plus 1. So this equation could be written as x times x minus 1 times x plus 1 minus 20 times x minus 1 equal to 0. And now we can see that this x minus 1 and this x minus 1 is in common. So therefore I can bring this x minus 1 outside and inside the bracket we can write x times x plus 1 minus 20 and on the right hand side equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and distribute this one. Now we can see that these two factors are equal to 0. Let's go ahead and separate them. I can write x minus 1 equal to 0 on this right hand side x square plus x minus 20 equal to 0 and now x minus 1 equal to 0 means that our x value turns out to be positive 1 and now let's focus on this uh, second equation and here I have copied it down now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve this quadratic equation by grouping and factoring. So therefore let's tweak this part. This uh, 1x could be written as 5x minus 4x. And now we can see that x is in common between first two terms and here negative 4 is in common between second two terms. So therefore we can write this thing as x times x plus 5 and this negative 4 times x plus 5 equal to 0. And now we can see that x plus 5 and x plus 5 is in common. So therefore we can write them as x minus 4 times x plus 5 equal to 0 and now let's go ahead and separate them I can write x minus 4 equal to 0 and the other one is x plus 5 equal to 0 so therefore this is going to give us x equal to positive 4 and over here this is going to give us x equal to negative 5. So therefore for this quadratic equation our x values turned out to be 4 and negative 5. And here in the next step I wrote down these for x equals to 1, x equal to 4 and x equal to negative 5 right up over here. But then we know that x equals to a plus b as per our substitution. So therefore this could be written as a plus b equals to 1 
and likewise over here a plus b equals to 4 and a plus b equals to negative 5 and now we are going to check for real solutions for all these three cases and now let's focus on our first case we can write this a plus b equals to 1 as b could be written as 1 minus a and we also know that a square plus b square equal to 7 from this equation 2 and now we are going to substitute this b by this uh, 1 minus a so therefore we can write this thing as a square plus uh, 1 minus a whole square equal to 7 and now let's recall this uh, formula a minus b square we are going to apply on this part therefore we can write this thing as a square let's go ahead and expand this one so this is going to be a 1 minus 2a plus a square equal to 7 now let's go ahead and combine the like terms so that's going to give us 2a square minus 2a plus 1 equal to 7 now let's go ahead and subtract 7 from both sides this is gone so we ended up with simply 2a square minus 2a minus 6 equal to 0. So let's go ahead and divide by 2 across the board as you can see to make things simple. So therefore this turns out to be a square minus a minus 3 equal to 0. And now let's focus on this second case a plus b equal to 4 means b could be written as 4 minus a and here after repeating all these steps as we did in a previous case we got this one 2a square minus 8a plus 9 equal to 0 and likewise in our case 3 we got our this a square plus 5a plus 9 equal to 0 and finally we got these three quadratic equations and now we are going to check for their real solutions and now let me show you how to check for real solutions and now let's recall this quadratic formula and let's focus on this uh, radicand b square minus 4ac and this b square minus 4ac is called discriminant and the discriminant is going to tell us how many and what type of solutions we are going to get and here are the scenarios if the discriminant is positive greater than zero then we are going to have two real solutions and if the discriminant is negative then we are going to have no real solutions and now let's focus on our this first case and in this case our a is 1 b is negative 1 and this c is negative 3 and here's our discriminant b square minus 4ac let's go ahead and fill in the blanks b in our case is negative 1 so this become negative 1 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is negative 3 and if we now simplify this thing our discriminant turns out to be 13 which is greater than 0 that means it's positive so if we look at this chart over here b square minus 4ac is positive mean that we indeed have a real solution so therefore a real solution exists so therefore this is our valid answer a plus b equals to 1 and now let's focus on our next case and here i fill in the blanks in this discriminant our discriminant turns out to be negative 8 which is less than 0 and if we look at this table if whenever we have a discriminant less than 0 which is negative that means no real solutions so no real solutions means that a plus b equals to 4 is not valid 
so we are going to reject this scenario and likewise for this next case our discriminant turns out to be negative 11 which is less than 0 so therefore a plus b equals to negative 5 is not valid so therefore we are going to reject this scenario as well so thus our only valid answer turns out to be a plus b equals to 1 so thus our a plus b value turns out to be 1 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye